Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to talk with you about if it's worthwhile getting into YouTube and starting a cybersecurity YouTube channel. This is a question that's come up a few times recently uh, for unknown reasons, probably related to COVID and people being at home and being bored and hearing about uh, all the YouTube success that people have and seeing all these big numbers and relating that themselves into large amounts of money. Let me tell you though, that YouTube doesn't really make much money. So I'll use my account as an example for this video on uh, exactly how much money I make from YouTube, uh, if it's worthwhile from the amount of hours that I put in and I, I guess sort of what the point is and then to sort of help you decide if you want to do it yourself. So the number one question I guess is how much money do I make every day from YouTube? So the exact figure is it differs per day and depends on if I get like super chat or super stickers or whatever they're called uh, on live videos. Now most days I don't actually do live videos, I only do like one a week. However, I am making five to six videos every single week at the moment. I have been running my channel for just over a year and a half now and have so far got 31,000 subscribers at the time of making this video. Now each day I average between 25 and 50 Australian dollars, which is pretty good. But if you compare that to how much time goes into each and every video, it's probably not really worthwhile, like it's below minimum wage. So an example of that is uh, a standard 10 minute video can take anywhere up to an hour just to record and, and get set up, to set up like a, a background or to do it like a, a really cheap version like how I usually make my videos and basically just pick a topic to talk about and then uh, ramble on about that for, you know, 20 to half an hour. Now, that's just the recording process. You then have to get that file onto your computer and edit it. Or if you're editing on your phone in iMovie or something, that's, that's fine as well. Now, the editing process can take a pretty long time. For example, I, I stop and pause uh, during my videos when I'm talking and I um and ah. Uh, a lot. So for me, editing a video takes forever because I have to cut out all the really shitty bits in between where I'm just going, um, uh, and thinking about what I'm trying to say because I don't really have like a, a script. I just have a, a topic that I talk about and then I, I ramble on about it for a while. So an example, I guess, is yeah, about an hour to an hour and a half per video plus making a thumbnail for it, thinking of tags to uh, include on that video, promoting that video. It's a, it's a, Pretty lengthy process. And I know this sounds like I'm just sort of bitching about um, how hard it is to YouTube or whatever, but I, I don't do this as my main income. I'm just sort of giving you an example so you can decide for yourself if you want to do this yourself or not. Also, side note, is this a video that you guys actually want to watch on a, a cybersecurity channel or is this completely irrelevant? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, of course, smash like if, if you love this video. <laughs> anyway, you're averaging around an hour and a half per video. Uh, just to, to make the video, to edit it, to then promote the video. You do that, you know, five or six times a week. And uh, yeah, I know it, it like you could make a whole week's worth of videos in one day. However, you will be exhausted, <laughs> I guarantee you. The other side of things that people don't really see is the amount of uh, questions that come with, uh, I guess, sort of like educational YouTube account like my own. And that's very loosely educational. I usually just give general advice. But anyway, the questions that come through, are, I average around 10 to 15 messages on Twitter, like new messages every day. My Discord server, which you can see behind me, uh, averages around 900-ish messages per day within a 24 hour period. Then there's the messages on Instagram, Facebook, and all of the trash talking that comes with posting on Reddit. Which actually leads me onto something that Reddit is a really great place to promote yourself, but also an absolute cesspool of negativity. Posting a video that you're really proud of on Reddit could potentially be uh, very detrimental to your mental health because people will and definitely do absolutely shit on everything you do on Reddit. So maybe, um, maybe don't do that to begin with. It will help grow your channel though, so there is that. The other way you can make money, of course, that I'm, I'm sure you've seen in a thousand other videos, is by doing affiliate programs, 
uh, like the Amazon uh, affiliate thing to sell products that you're using or promoting in that video. My only affiliate program is Try Hack Me, and I haven't actually made any money from that yet, but I mean, it's a cool service, so I promote it anyway. And of course, uh, YouTube memberships and uh, Patreon, which is, is pretty good. So my Patreon and YouTube uh, memberships together average me about 40 Australian dollars per month, which um, honestly is, that's like a dinner for two. <laughs> <laughs> so if you take in your $25 to $50 average per day, plus your $40 per month, say you're making around, you know, $700, $800 Australian dollars per month, that's, um, that's pretty low. I could make more money by uh, doing Uber delivery or being an Uber driver, to be completely honest. Is it easier making YouTube videos than driving people around? Probably not, actually. Is it more fun, though? And that's definitely yes. <laughs> I absolutely love making these videos, which is why I'm still doing it. And uh, I do love talking to people and answering their questions and helping them out. So by all means, don't feel bad sending me messages. Keep them coming. I'll, uh, I'll answer them when I have time to. But if, for example, you're in a situation where uh, maybe you don't have a lot of time to spare and you, you don't really want to be um, pinged every you know, hour or so with a question that's maybe like a wall of text. Uh, maybe starting a YouTube channel isn't for you. Also, the time frame it took to build this channel to where it is now took around, like I said earlier, about a year and a half. So it's not it's not something that you do sort of for the money. It's um it's definitely something if you want to get into, you should do just as a hobby. I would definitely not recommend starting a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel to make money. It's there's so many better ways to make money. For example, get a job in cybersecurity. You'll make you know 15 times the amount of money that I would make in a year from YouTube. So yeah, I guess that's that's my short uh, answer to the people asking me if they should start their own YouTube channel. Um, my general answer is, yeah, if you want to, if you want to start it as a hobby on the side, maybe like one video a week or, you know, whenever you feel like it, go nuts. If you want to start a YouTube channel in cybersecurity as a job, I'd probably recommend against it. Uh, tech channels on YouTube generally don't really make that much money. The ones that make money are the people who talk about making money which is, is really sideways, but that's how YouTube works. So also if you're like a you know legendary meme lord, that would also make you a heap of money, but um, there's not many spaces for that left to be honest, unless you do something different, but you know. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all on the next one. Have a good life. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, please do let me know if this is the sort of uh, content you came here for. Uh, if you didn't, definitely let me know and I'll, I'll just not make videos like this. Catch up.